It was the end of August, and I had been working as a teacher at my center for almost a year. Fortunately, our company gave us about five days holiday, and I decided to go with some of my colleagues to visit Hotlong Bay. So late one morning, we found ourselves at the docks in Hotlong City, after a harrowing three-hour bus ride from Hanoi, of course. Since our tour company insisted on charging us 50% for any drinks we brought on board, we, of course, proceeded to hide it all in our luggage. How are we going to be able to drink this surreptitiously, though? Well, we'll, we'll, figure it out. we'll figure it out later. After stowing the liquids away, in short order, we were aboard a launch, picking our way through the forest of boats, and then unloaded on a junk, which we would have all to ourselves. The boat was a squat Chinese junk of about 70 foot in length overall, and about 25 feet of beam. We were quartered two per cabin, which each had a bathroom or a head, soft beds, and air conditioning. The second deck had a dining room, or well, maybe it's called a mess. We went to the fore deck for tea. It tastes like Christmas. Is that tea? <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Followed by a multi course meal in the dining room. Not half an hour later, we were underway, out into the bay. It seemed that due to the layers of regulations, all boats followed the same schedule to the same places. So we asked our crew to skip the cave and leapfrog ahead of the other tours into the heart of the islands. Hatlong is a large bay filled with small limestone islands and rocks, each covered in green scrub. The boat slowly trolled through the narrow channels between steep green cliffs that rose immediately out of the water. It was a maze of waterways that opened up to a different view every few minutes. The weather was a bizarre smattering of rain squalls and sunshine, and these gave amazingly varied lighting conditions. Of course, we didn't just look. We also relaxed and talked and played Chinese chess. A little ways into the bay, we stopped at a quiet sound with several little islands around our ship and hooked up to one of the anchored buoys. It was nearly deserted and we got into kayaks for a serene paddle around the area. Bam for the bam, bam for the reload. And the stillness was broken. Will everyone stop getting shot? The melodious voice of Mr. Johnny. Marshall and Cameron taking up the rear. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Too easy. So here we are on a kayak in Hot Long Bay. Beautiful limestone topography on a perfect day. <laughs> Silence only broken by one loutish one. <laughs> bam for the bam bam for the reload from Beatles Town. The short paddle around seemed to tire most of us out, so we retired to the upper deck to relax. Oh God! It's gonna be October fest. That's okay. They're still sexy. They managed to be sexy. And to jump in the water. As the day waned, the other boats began to catch up with us for night anchorage, absconding our solitude. Yet even this did not eliminate the beauty of the location as the sun set. Uh-oh. 
It's the Oriental sales. Yeah. And night set in while we waited for dinner to be prepared. With the melodious voice of the Scouser ringing out. Finally, we went to the galley and dinner was served. After this, we broke out the cards for some Texas Hold'em. Using toothpicks for chips, but I was soon out and I didn't opt for another buy-in. Yet, I stuck around to see who won. Surprisingly, the talkative lady in stripes won again. And again, taking all comers. Despite Marshall's coaching. Cleaned out the master. See, this is why I wanted to tell you when it was happening. Because there was math Late in the evening, several of us went topside to talk and to watch the lightning storm overhead. I didn't stay up too late, and I turned in pretty early. I awoke at 7 to a sudden morning rain squall. The rain came in rapidly and intensely. But it stopped, and the sky cleared just as quickly. Not too long after breakfast, our boat began to make its way back to the dock. We again passed through the forest of limestone islands. Finally, we were moored and drove back down the harrowing highway to Hanoi. I had been in Hanoi for about a year and a half. And finally, I had been able to see the number one tourist destination in that region. Overall, I would say it was worth the trip, despite the murky water and the crowds. My name is Caleb, and this is Ha Long Bay, a verdant maze of marine towers. <laughs>